the Jose era is in full swing. Hello and welcome to another episode of Holly's Hot Spurs and on today's episode I'll be talking about the Olympiacos game and how the Jose era has got off to a flying start. If you are new please remember to hit like on this video, hit a comment what you thought of the game below and hit that subscribe button would mean the world. So yeah, where do I start? This Olympiacos game definitely had its moments of hairiness, definitely had its moments of goodness. So I saw the lineup came out and once again we get to see that Harry Kane, that Son, that Delhi, and that Lucas up top. It got me very excited in the West Ham game I must admit, it was a very big force to be reckoned with and in the second half it, it did do the bits and bobblies but anyway let's start with the first half. <laughs> yeah, 20 minutes in, 2-0 down I'm thinking hmm, normal Tottenham resumes. I was very shocked to see that Jose decided to take Dyer off after 20 minutes and I must admit I think it was the right call. I mean it's unmarked territory to even have a sub before the 70th minute, let alone the 20th minute. So yeah, I was I was keen to see who would come on. Who's the man that comes on? Non-existent Ericsson. I say non-existent. Come on, everybody be real with me here. He never shows up in games recently but I was hoping today was the day he proved me wrong actually doing a bit some wobblies and I must admit he came on he actually did something I know a few passes went away but we'll let that slide because the game did open up we were actually finding pockets of space rather than going backwards 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 whole game so yeah the first off was a bit of a write-off until I mean <laughs> Serge puts a ball through and I, I don't know what the Olympiacos defender is thinking but he totally missed the ball and Delhi is ready to pounce we go 2-1 at half time. 2 1, I'm thinking, oh, it's comeback season once again under the arms of Jose. So, yeah, I was intrigued to see what Jose would be saying in that changing room and whatever he said worked. And I can't wait to watch it on the documentary because they asked in the press interview, he did say, You'll have to wait, ladies and gents. You get to see it for yourself. So, I'm remembering that one, Jose. But yeah, we came out with a, it was totally, I don't know, it's just a totally different Tottenham team. So, we came out fighting, it, it was a bit more quicker than the the, the first half, we were actually finding more pockets in space which is great in and behind but this, this my friends, is a moment of magic I mean, Lucas, that's why I want Lucas to play every single game at the start I know this is the second half but you get my gist, he wouldn't be, be on if Potts was managing at the moment but anyway Lucas does get the assist but if we're gonna be real right now the assist has got to go to the ball boy wherever you are mate thumbs up to you because that that was a moment of quick thinking to get in behind the Olympiacos defense Lucas pulls the ball back to Kane Kane ain't gonna miss bang 2-2 two -two, Tottenham versus Olympiacos and I'm thinking nah easy dubs now Jose's worked his special magic in the changing room we're gonna win this game. We had lots of chances throughout the match, but this one, this goal, okay, I have slated Surge so much, and Jose has just clicked his fingers, and the man is now an attacking fullback. He's not the loose cannon in our defense anymore. I mean, I think he needs a bit more work, but Jesus, take a look at this goal. that ball swerves is something else but I'd just like to point out okay it's a cracking goal by Serge but I'd just like to point out how Deli Ali manages to move them manipulate the ball so he frees up some space to cross the ball into Son who nicely taps it over with his head to Serge who Serge I've got to hand it to you mate well done I have slated you quite a few times but these two games you've had on the Jose next to none mate next to none you love to see it Jose you just got to make sure that Sissoko scores next because then I'm, my hands are up, you are the special one. It's 3-2, we're playing some nice football, we've actually awoken, I just I, I just wish we started, like, it'd be great to start awake every single game. I mean the West Ham game was good because we actually did start awake, but then we started to fall asleep. This time we had the reverse, so we were asleep and then awoke, but who cares, it's 3-2, we're winning, and then, ladies and gents, the man 
that has been a non-existent for 11 months after hearing that he could be going to Real Madrid. Puts in a sublime ball from a free kick. Look at this. I mean, I think he's still going January, but the fact that Jose came out in a press conference and said, I'm going to put him in my starting 11 if he can't work out what he wants, whether he wants to put his all into his last months at Tottenham or whether he wants to sit on the bench. And I think that really did hit home. I think I think it put some realism into Ericsson's uh, head because rather than leave on a sour note, he's actually started to be like, you know what, actually, no, I need to prove myself and show everyone that I am worthy of going to run. Because there's no, there's no question about it, he is a talent, but... He's been letting himself down lately because he's still at our club and he should still perform. So, Ericsson, thank you, mate, because you did perform last night. That was a cracking ball in. I mean, some of your corners went a bit array, but so did Harry Winks's. I don't think we should let Harry Winks take corners because they're pretty bad. I think we need to... If Ericsson does decide to leave, <laughs> can we please get someone to take free kicks and corners? That's all I ask. So, yeah, it's 4-2. I'm just, we've qualified, we're through to the last 16. Just want to know what Jose said in that change room. That's all I want to know. <laughs> but yeah, we're through to the last round of 16. It's happy days. Uh, I'm looking forward to the Bournemouth game. The Bournemouth game will be a very special episode on here because I'm actually going to the game. So it'll be like my games when I go watch the women play. We'll actually have some live footage, which will be quite cool. But yeah, thanks again for watching. Hit a like on this video. Comment what you thought of the game below. It'd be nice to chat to you a lot and see what you think of it all. But yeah, thanks again. Hope to see you soon. Later.